welcome. Today we're going to make something delicious, spring rolls. This Asian uh, <clears throat> appetizer is absolutely delicious. Crisp, thin, uh, crunchy outside with a delicious inside of uh, fresh spring vegetables, snap of cabbage, carrots, uh, spring onions. Now um, we're going to make a little deviation and I want to show you some optional ingredients. Uh, what we're going to add to these are also uh, chopped fresh mushrooms. That's going to add a little bit of umami uh, to the spring uh, spring rolls. And uh, on this side, we've got cilantro. Now, cilantro features prominently in Thai and Indonesian cuisine. Uh, I like the flavor, so we're going to add that too. We've got some uh, minced fresh ginger. Always going to add a little brightness to it. And the star is going to be this uh, Poseidon brand Botarga. This is Italian uh, roe from the gray mullet off the uh, Italian waters. And thanks to um, the guys at Duke's Gourmet uh, for sending this stuff and sponsoring my channel. Uh, I do appreciate it. So uh, here are some of the flavors that we're going to use uh, in making this. Uh, we're going to have some soy sauce. I'm using the less sodium soy sauce because a lot of these ingredients have salt in them. We got saying stir fry oil. This is the garlic infused one. We got some rice wine vinegar. Um, we got some fish sauce. We've got some mirin. Uh, this is uh, oyster sauce and some sesame oil. So uh, let's go ahead and get our skillet uh, heated up and uh, let's get it cooking. Okay, in a large skillet, uh, there we have the uh, stir fry oil and the sesame oil hot over medium high. So let's uh, start our stir fry. Got the onions and the carrots. Mushrooms, ginger, now um, <clears throat> the reason why we added these first is because the carrots and the mushrooms have a lot of uh, moisture in it and we need to cook some of it out and uh, we'll be ab adding the cabbage shortly. Right after a couple minutes in goes the cabbage and the cilantro. All right, so now we'll start adding the flavorants. We got our oyster sauce here. We got our mirin. Probably only want about a tablespoon. Rice wine vinegar. A little bit of soy sauce. And a little bit of our fish sauce. Okay, and I'll taste it here shortly and uh, make adjustments as necessary. I added um, about another teaspoon of fish sauce. Everything else is spot on, and uh, this is actually tasting magnificent. So I think it's done. We're going to shut it off and set it off to the side to cool for about half an hour, and then we'll start uh, rolling up our sh uh, spring rolls. Okay, so we've got our um, ingredients cooled off now. It's been about 30 minutes. And we've got our first uh, spring roll uh, wrapper here on a board. Let's go ahead and assemble it. So we're going to get a spoonful like this. And by the way, I've tried this filling. It is absolutely marvelous. Beautiful flavor. Okay. And then we're going to take a beautiful piece of botarga. This is just absolutely gorgeous. Put them like that. Then we're going to fold them. See how simple it is? Just like that. Bring this side here. This is essentially an Asian burrito. Oh, yeah. Look how pretty. Now, off to the side here, we've got some a cornstarch and water slurry. Okay, which we'll dip our finger in there and just sort of paint this so it'll seal up properly. Okay, we want to moisten it nice. And that's it. See how pretty it is? Okay. So let me go ahead and assemble uh, the rest of them. And then we'll start frying them up. Alright, now that the oils come to temperature, let's go ahead and take our little uh, spring rolls and get them frying. 
All right. Okay, and only, you can see only about a minute per side, and uh, they're browning nicely, quickly. And there you have it, piping hot spring rolls. Thanks for watching, and this is deliciousness. That Botarga sure took them over the top.